Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft. Okay, so we're starting things off where we finished last time, just near our new enchantment factory, right next to the four mob spawners that we set up. And this thing has been going quite a bit. I AFK'd a little bit near this farm, so the essence was pumping through, and we've been getting a few enchanted books. And as you can see, I've had to upgrade the book output chest to a diamond chest because it's going crazy. So what I was really looking for was Silk Touch, and I didn't get it last time, but oh, these are sorted now, but I definitely have got Silk Touch somewhere. Where is it? I've got quite a few Fortune as well, but where? Come on, Silk, there we go. So, Silk Touch, this is going to be very handy for me today. I definitely want to use this, so I'll grab everything I need, because all I'm going to do is put these on a Paxel, and we can put all the standard stuff that you'd put on a axe shovel or pickaxe on it so we've got uh, silk touch efficiency five and breaking three we need unbreaking three and mending so that is what we need i don't think there's anything else we will just sort those right so let's go craft ourselves a paxel and we'll talk about what we're up to today so what should we go for should we do steel is, it, is that the best one or is it obsidian i don't actually know what the best is but let's go refine obsidian let's, let's be fancy about it so first axe Pickaxe and a shovel, and that should mean we can now craft a paxel. Right, there we go. So, I do have an enchantment applicator, but I don't have any essence in it at the minute. So, I'm going to do this the vanilla way, and we will just use an anvil. So, let's should we just put them all one by one? No, let, let's do it properly. Oh, I got any levels. How did that happen? All right, we may have to save this till later. Okay, so the first thing that I actually wanted to get done today was something very, very basic that I always do when I play a mod pack, and I haven't done it yet, and last time I felt the effects of it, because I built this little room, and it's not a massive room, out of smooth stone, and I didn't have tons of smooth stone to hand, so I kept having to grab cobble, smelting it into stone, and yes, this thing does it very quickly, but it's still something I shouldn't have to do. And then once I had the stone, I was then smelting it again into snow stone. But I don't want to do that. I want to have a room set up where I have all of these things on hand. Now, I do have quite a lot of the basics at the moment. Uh, I've got, like, stone. I See, I've only got, like, a stack of smooth stone, so I definitely want to get this one up. But the, the cobblestone is definitely alright, because I've been doing a lot of mining. And stone is alright, because I've just cooked up a load. But I also want to get some gravel, which I don't have a lot of, and sand, which I have less than two stacks of. So, I definitely want to do that. And from that, probably glass. I've got a fair bit of glass, but I will be using quite a lot of it. Because this isn't like vanilla, where glass is just glass. You actually use it in a lot of crafting recipes as well. So, look, there's 22 recipes that glass can be used in. And, yeah, I'm definitely going to use quite a few of these things. So, I'm going to need a stock. So, how do we do that? Right, well, there's, there are lots of different ways you can do this. So, what we could do having a lot of cobble we could put it into the crusher and that would give us gravel if we put it into another cr crusher we would get sand and then obviously we can cook the sand as in vanilla to get glass and then we can just have a load of drawers with all those items in and then once you take some out it will automatically start processing the next batch so you'll always have a minimum amount of whatever you set the storage drawers to so the normal storage drawer size is 2048 when you don't have any upgrades in and i usually find that that's plenty i think the only one i've actually upgraded here is all these two actually the cobblestone and the what's this stuff called again the substrate which i will be processing fairly soon but for the moment it is just backing up in there that's where we do it with the mechanism but that's not what i want to do what i actually want to use is one of my favourite modded blocks called the Material Stonework Factory. Now, I did craft up a few of the pink slime balls last time. So, we should have pretty much everything we need to do this. And I did, and I have done the, the advanced machine frames as well. So, where did I put those? Yeah, I've got those in here. And I've got the stuff just to do another one. So, just to refresh your memory, how these things work. So, I've got some pink slime coming into here. Because I've got this mob slaughter factory active at the moment. And the mob crusher only has the one block range. So if we just put these into here, we'll get this last one. So I'll do this, the simple machine frame there, and then that'll give us the last advanced machine frame. Now I, I don't think I'm going to need eight, but we'll we'll see how it goes. We might we might need a few anyway. So 
if we just craft up the rest of these, so we can put those in there now, and we need diamond pickaxes as well, don't we? So let's let's grab a few of those. Uh, oh, I'm going to do let's let's do six for now. Yeah. Well, I've got eight, haven't I? So let let's just try eight. So I'll just craft up one of these things, and then we'll have a look at how they work. And there are a few problems, unfortunately, in the version that I'm in. So we'll we'll talk through those. Okay. So. Let's go downstairs because I've actually been digging out a new area where I want to put these. So this is where we were last time and then one floor below I've dug out another little area and I'm actually going to decorate this one as well. So it's very very janky at the moment but I'm going to get rid of all these blocks and we'll we'll give this a go. So I'm just going to run a power cable down here now from up there somewhere and then we'll, we'll give this thing a test. Okay so I've done a little bit more digging, expanded this room out a bit and I've also run this power cable right down the centre. So what I'm planning on doing is where this elevator is, this is going to be the floor level. And I am going to have a few rooms off to each side. I don't want just one big area. I like to have a few little things going on down here. Just simple automated processes that I don't have to come look at too often. But some of these are going to be really, really essential. And this one definitely is. Let's take our material stoneware factory. And if we just power this, we'll have a look at what this thing's all about. So... It does actually need water and lava, as you'd expect, because it's creating cobblestone. So it's just a standard cobblestone generator, really. So if we just click the water on it like that, and also the lava, that should now be able to start making cobblestone. So yeah, that is already doing that. And then you'll see, at the bottom here, we can have three further actions. So at the moment, they default to smelting, but we can change this to crushing, for example. So the next one, let's get rid of those, because it's just going to continue down the chain, but... We've got our first cobblestone, so it should now change that into gravel. And then the next action is cook, uh, smelting, so it won't do anything with that, so it'll just go back to creating the cobblestone again. So if we change this one to crushing as well, what this will do, it'll take the gravel and change that into sand. And then at the end, because this is smelting, this will change this into glass. So this thing is crazily overpowered. It's not as fast as it used to be in the older versions, but I do have the tier 2 speed add-on here, so if I just put that in there, it is a little bit quicker. It's it's still not as quick as it used to be. Sorry for sounding like an old man there, but it's definitely not. And there is also a couple of problems with this thing. So the first one is the actions in here. There used to be one where it said no action. So if you just wanted it to stop, for example, the second one, you would change this action to no action, and then it would stop going and not do anything else. So unfortunately, that isn't there at the moment. It is in the later version, so if you're playing a 1.16.4 mod pack, that button is there. So that's what you do. But what I've done as a workaround, I've basically taken an action that can't happen on the block that I've generated in the previous one. So as I've got gravel here, there's no 3x3 craft for gravel, so I'll just change it to that, and it won't go any further. So what we do at this point is then export it to the storage, obviously. But that is the other problem with this version as well so again in 1.16.4 there are no problems but in here it doesn't work so what you should be able to do is just stick a draw on the top and then if you just change the one that you want to output so we go to the first inventory and change that to push that should just push everything into that draw but as you can see it's not working and I also had a problem doing it with the pipes as well so we'll just give that a go because sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't, but more often than not, it doesn't. So if we just stick that there, okay. like that, and if we just change that to pull, that should take that out of there. But as you can see, it doesn't. Now, I've been told that it does work with a chest, so let's give that a go. We don't want to do this, but I just want to test if it actually works. Yeah, so you can see, as you can see, the gravel is being pushed into there, and that is what we want to happen into the draw. So unfortunately, we can't use that like that but there is a solution and i did actually see it in the comments of another video i do need to rewire this a bit because the solution is vanilla hoppers actually work so if i put a hopper under here and only output the one that i want to output it i can take that into a draw so i have to rejig how i normally do this i, I like to have them in a row with the storage drawers on top but we can't do that here so i'm gonna have a drawer at the front and then a hopper behind it, and then the material stoneware factory on top of that. So, so let me go grab a hopper, and we'll rewire this a little bit, and try and get this sorted out. Okay, so we are getting somewhere now. I've got seven of these set up, just crafted a few more, 
And then we've got the drawers with the hoppers pointing into those as well. So I thought before I go too much further, I should probably give this a test to make sure it's working. So I've, I've brought some lava with me. Uh, let's just pull that down there somewhere. And then I've also brought a sink so we can get some water. So I've got a bucket of water there. And I've got a bucket of lava. Right, so let's do the first one. Right. Now, these drawers are locked, so even the hoppers won't be able to place anything to there. So the cobble is coming straight out, and that's because I haven't stopped it coming out in the green one. So I do want it to be that anyway, so we can just leave that, and the cobble will just come straight into there. So what I can do now is just go into the hopper. If I take that out of there, I put that on there, we should see the cobblestone going directly in. So that's the easy one. That one is already done, so we can leave that like that. Actually, I'm not going to speed it up because I think I'm going to replace this with my cobble drawer from upstairs and start moving all the storage around just so we don't have anything duplicated. So the next one, a little bit more difficult, but all we need to do to make sure we don't get any cobble being spat out of this is go to this first one and make sure that this one is set to disabled. In fact, we could do them all to disabled just to be safe. And then the next one we're going to want is coming out of here. So I think we'll have this uh, smelt and if I set these so that'll give us stone and I don't think crushing does anything with stone so we'll we'll give that a go but I think it should just get taken out anyway let's try that so we just need some water and lava in there and then that should start up straight away so let's go with that and this is going to be tricky again so isn't it all right uh, is that doing anything yet oh yes let's put the speed upgrade in that one yeah we'll go so yeah, so we've got the stone coming out of there as well. Brilliant. So we'll pull that in there. That should start producing. Yeah, okay. So we'll take the speed upgrades out because I've got a load of stone anyway. And then, so yeah, same thing. So I'm just going to go down all these, get all of these set up, and then we'll have a look at the final result. Okay, so we've got all of the basics set up there now. So what we went for is cobblestone, stone, gravel, sand, glass, and smooth stone so these are definitely going to be very very helpful so any time i go into my refined storage system i'm going to be able to access these because i have a storage drawer here and my main cable for refined storage will just run down here and then i'll put uh, an external storage bus on the back of there and i'll be able to see anything there in these drawers so that's brilliant so the next job i need to do is actually move the drawers from up there that i've got these materials in i don't think i have one for all of them but whatever I have, I'll put in the cardboard boxes, which I think I've got in here. I th and I really hope that works on the cobblestone one I've got up there because there's like 9,000 blocks in it. So I'll put that one there and then that can just fill that one up. And then the next thing to do is get this room decorated. But I don't have the materials I want at the moment because I haven't done that much exploring. So that is what I want to do now. And while we're out there, I have another job that I really, really want to get done. So let me go get prepared for that and we'll... Go get on with it. Okay, so one of the things I actually need to do to prep for this is to put these books on this Paxel. Well, at least the silt touch anyway. So what I've done, I've switched this back over to the mob crusher. So this has got the range add on it now. And I've taken out this one. So we're getting the essence through. And I've also disabled this pipe here that goes into the enchantment factory. So this isn't getting any essence, but the enchantment applicator is. So I think if I'm right, this will actually let me put these books on even though I've got no levels. So if I just try the silk touch one first, I have no idea how much of this essence it's going to use, but oh, it's, only about, it's only about a bucket, so that's all right. So if we just stick all these on, I might as well, and then we'll have a, an awesome tool to go get this grass that I'm trying to get. Because I haven't said it yet, that's the first time I've said this, but I'm actually trying to get grass. Now, it looks like a bit of an ordeal just to get grass, but this is the first time I've had a silk touch tool. So I've got my digital miner on me i have an energy cube i now have a way of getting a grass block so i've had an idea and i've given you a massive clue what i'm up to so let's go give it a try okay so i've come across to a grassy area and what i want to do as i live in a mushroom island as you can see right there that dirty horrible purple stuff i want to replace all that mycelium with grass but i don't want to do it vanilla way we're playing modded Minecraft, so I thought I'd take advantage of this absolute beast of machine, the Digital Miner. And my plan is, there's two steps. First, I need to gather a lot of grass. So that is what I'm going to try doing now. Now, if I just power this for a start. There we go. Right, what I tried to do, 
Uh, don't know what's this one block no i think this it was me trying to get the grass yeah so i did try to add into the config a tag filter so i could have the grass block but it just wouldn't work it was the same kind of problem i was having with the mycelium so i'm hoping what i can do is if i just use this silt touch paxel and actually grab some grass blocks i should be able to put them into the other filter which ones the item stack so if i put them into there so they're like that so that and then where are we let's go let's go maximum so this is going to destroy the landscape a bit but i'm thinking it'll just get the grass that it sees at the moment and then whilst it's mining because it's not particularly fast some grass will grow back over the top of it so i can live with that so if we go up to 128 yeah yeah that'll do so i want definitely want silt touch on auto yeah it doesn't matter because there's no chest silt touch yeah so if we just go with that and we'll start getting some grass. So that's brilliant. That's what I want. I want as much grass as I can. And I'm going to replace this mycelium with it. Because what the digital miner can do, it also has this other function called auto pull. And in the config, you can say that when you mine a particular block, where well, I'm taking the blocks below me, when you mine a particular block, it will replace it with something else. So when I set the filter for mycelium, I'll say it needs replacing with a grass block. And then I'll have a chest on the top, which is what this top one's for, is for the replacements. And put a chest there, put the grass in it, and then whenever it digs up the mycelium, it'll replace it with a grass block. So that is what I'm going to do. So whilst that is doing its thing, I know it, once I go out the area it's going to stop, but I do have an anchor upgrade, but I forgot to bring it with me. So I'll go back to my base in a second, but first I need to go do a little bit of exploring, because I really want to find some spruce wood. And this is really, really loud. It's definitely digging. This is definitely working, isn't it? Brilliant. Right, I'll leave that serious thing. And I'm going to go find me some spruce. Okay, so I have done quite a bit of exploring. It's been a little bit of time since the last clip. And I've come back up here and let this run for a little bit. And it is doing pretty well. I'm definitely going to need a lot more of this. But you know what? For now, I think this is going to be a pretty good test. So let's stop this. And we'll grab all this. The miner. And the energy cube, I'm going to get back home to the base and give this a test. Okay, so now we're back at the base. First job, I'm going to put some grass onto this farming area here. Because I definitely want this to be grass. And look at how green this is. I love the grass on a mushroom island. It looks amazing. So I'll just dot a few of these around here and there. And that should spread across nicely. And we'll, we'll leave that to it because I really want to get on and do this. So, let's, where should we do it? I want to do it around this area, I think. Let, let's start on this hill. This this could be fun. Right. So, let's get my miner first. Let's put that there. Have that one there. And then I'm going to need a chest on the top. So, if I put that just there. And I have just had another idea that this is actually going to work really well. So, what I need to do here is 10 silt touch off. Because I'm going to be mining mycelium, but I don't want mycelium, I want it to be dead. Because then I can put that back down around the grass, and that'll turn into grass as well. So, auto-reject I want on, and I want auto-pull on as well. So, the grass is going to go in there, because that's what we're going to use to re replace the mycelium. So, next I need a block of mycelium, and then we need to put that into the filter. So, if get, actually, let's just put it in there. Put that into that one. I was going to tell it to get mycelium. Uh, actually, in the filter as well, we also need to say it requires replacement. So we need a grass block. And if we put that into there, and requires replace, yeah, require replace is yes. And auto pull is on, so that will get the grass from there. And I think that should do it. So if I now click start on this, it should start mining the mycelium and replacing it with grass. So let's give that a try. 3,600, right, that's quite a lot in it. Right, so it's bringing dirt in. That's what I wanted to see. And where is it doing it? I want to see grass being placed somewhere. Can I see anything? No. I can't see anything. Is that grass actually getting pulled out of there? It's not. Right, let's stop that. Auto pull. Okay, not sure what happened there, but this filter seems to have gone a bit weird. So, require replace, yes. Maybe because I did it the wrong way around. I click save. Is that still like that? That does stay like that. Right. 
So let's try that again. Alright, so it's that that is going out of there now. So that is definitely being used and the dirt is still coming in. So where is it doing that? I, I want to see this happen. There, there we go. Look at that. Yes, that is what I wanted to see. Brilliant. Okay, so I think this does it by chunks. So if we just have a look, turn the chunk borders on, see where it is. Yeah. So it's probably just going to do this chunk first and then it'll move on to the next chunk. This is awesome. I love this. This is so good. Down with mycelium. I'm probably going to turn all this into a cliff anyway, because I do want to actually start decorating around here a little bit, because it's looking a bit shocking, this, isn't it? I've got, like, cobblestone hanging over the edge here, and I think I've done it over here as well. It's, all, it's all not looking great, so I'm definitely going to need to get this sorted. But I think replacing the mycelium with the grass automatically is definitely going to be a big help. So I'm going to leave this to run and do its thing. Okay, so while that's running, I've got one more thing to talk about. And it's this thing that I've put up here. Now, I know it doesn't look like an ideal place, but I didn't have anywhere else in the walls where I could connect to the cable. So I've just put it up here for now. And what this is, is a block from refined storage called a disk manipulator. And the reason I've done this is because of all these red lights I've got on here. So most of these are 1K storage disks. And I've got a couple of 4Ks, but when most of these were full i think all of them are pretty much full now so what i've done is crafted up a 64k storage disk so this will hold way more than all of these put together but what the disk manipulator can do it can actually take anything off the disk that you put into it and put it back through into your storage system so for example if i had any debt in my disks it would actually send it to where it should be so as i have the storage drawer as a higher priority than my main disk drive it would try in there first and then put it in there if it didn't find anywhere else it could go so it's a great way of sorting things out if things get a bit messed up but it's also useful for when you're swapping over from the smaller disk to the big big disk so what i can do is take out these smaller ones and then if i put them in there so if i look in here now i should have way less stuff yeah so if i put these in here what should happen is if there's anything that needs to go into a storage drawer that's already on there it'll put them in there and if not everything should start going onto the 64k storage disk so let's give this a go because i haven't done this for quite a while we will pull it on there and so you can see the items are coming off there and we should start seeing items going onto here yeah so it's not the fastest thing in the world i could probably put some speed upgrades in though so i'll just stick a few discs in here and we're going to wait for this to finish so let's see if i've got any speed upgrades uh, I can craft a few though. Can I do four? I think I can. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of slime. Oh, that's not good, is it? Completely out of slime. Oh, no, that's right. That's definitely something I need to sort. So we'll have to let it go nice and slow for now. And you can hear that grass being re replaced. That's amazing. Look at this. This is great. And I think that is a good place to end. So we've got a few things done here. We've got the basics automated downstairs. I still need to decorate that room, but I I'll get on that with that between episodes that's that's more of a vanilla thing and I'll, I'll just show you what i've done and then got some grass got that automatically replacing the mycelium and then we're sorting out our refined storage as well very very productive episode so i think i will leave it there but if you have enjoyed this episode please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching everyone bye bye <laughs>